And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Starlit Heimerdinger. That's right, we're going to try um, our first Starlit Seer deck since the patch. We're going to be playing another one here later also, but our first one, um, we're going to be tr trying it with Heimerdinger. A whole bunch of spells here. So of course Starlit Seer is whenever you cast a spell, you grant the top ally in your deck plus one plus one. We don't have that many allies in this deck. We have a few. Um... And you know, like we can we can draw towards them with progress day, with rummage, things like that. The big the uh, the most important ally to be given the plus one plus one to probably is the assembly bots. You know, like we're gonna be trying to make some really big assembly bots uh, with this deck. Um, you know, playing a whole lot of spells, growing this thing. Um, but then also like Starlet Seer, just like pumping up Heimerdinger a little bit could be really nice. So Heimerdinger isn't so fragile and can maybe just actually do some stuff in combat you know like if heimerdinger is a three five or a four six you know if we you know if it's like the one thing that we play a couple of spells and it you know gets get some pumps um that could be really nice um our other things you know like we got like avaros and sentry um making this thing larger letting it trade with other stuff is good same with eager apprentice you know uh basically a free two one but if it's like a free you know three two or four three that could that could even be nice also um, you know, definitely not sure about how, you know, how well this deck will play. Um, you know, it's, it, this is definitely a, a test case here, but we're, I'm trying out some of these new upgraded cards and in different scenarios. And that's, uh, that's what we're doing today. And this was going to be our first playing of Starlit Seer. Um, the Winter Karma that we'll have later on is also a Starlit Seer deck. All right, but let's, uh, let's give this a try. Let's see. Let's change our board. Let's go to the Iceborn Peak with Grom Jr. So yeah, this will be this will be an interesting one here. Could be good, maybe not. But trying new stuff. Okay, so it looks like War Mother's Karma. We got a War Mother deck. Um, I don't think we really need Mystic Shot. Oh. Do we even need. I guess we don't even need Elixir of Iron to protect Time Redeemer because they're not going to be doing direct damage. Let's just send everything back besides the Heim Redeemer and basically look for. Um, none of these cards that we drew. Um, looking for uh, get uh, flash of brilliance. There we go. That's the card. <laughs> trying to think of the card. I, you know, couldn't think of the name. Flash of brilliance. That's the card that I wanted to draw to go along with the Heimerdinger. Is that thing worth killing with a thermogenic beam? It could be. I thought like Chump Wump making like these mushroom clouds could be pretty cool with the assembly bot also. Giving you like these extra burst spell speeds. It only costs one mana. Play Catalyst of Aeons. The order of its 
seems to be the problem. Many tribes under one banner. Alright, assembly bot. I need you to keep growing. There's a flash of brilliance. They're going to be enlightened already next turn. It's too late for you. I don't really know why I'm attacking with the Heimerdinger, to be honest. That's definitely a mistake. Could have definitely just blocked my Heimerdinger. How close are you to leveling up? Eight out of twelve. Is these things can also just like if they didn't just kill my other two things I wouldn't have played these because like, they can't just gum up the battlefield for me sure what I want to do. It's either Chump Womp or Progress Day, I guess. I'm not sure what they're going to be doing. Giving them a lot more mushroom clouds. Um, they could definitely have the one mana gain three life card and gain, you know, even more life, but giving them a good amount of mushroom clouds to be drawing into. Tough caps, if you will. Played that one, one should I? Ready the torches. You cannot escape. Four puff caps. Ah, uh, just one. I got 
got 17 of them. Alright, this is where we find a get excited. No, we did, did not find a get excited. So I don't, I'm not going to kill, I don't want to, I know I have like the, uh, the thermogenic beam that could get rid of like one of these, but I don't want to because War Mother's Call is going to bring out two things, but they don't have room for two things right now. play assembly bot. Nah, we'll just pass. Who would face me? So I'm like running out of room to put stuff also. What was the second card? It doesn't even say in here. I want to take the least amount of trample damage possible. out it was an omen hawk okay well that was actually that was like their best hit wasn't it because not that big of a deal if an omen hawk goes away and it still enters and is summoned and triggers i think i think it still triggers i would assume so at the very least stop Starlet Seer also. Starlet Seer, you know, would take up my last slot. Okay, yes, yeah, so they Winner's Breath everything. Um So they're just killing all my stuff. stuff back though. They have not played a deny yet. No denies have been played. Nevia. See a bad one, Beard. Three? No, just one. I guess it, yeah, I guess I do have the, I guess it, we do have the True Shot Barrage. 
lethal, don't we? But if they have deny, we don't. We we'll probably just go for it still, right? I mean, other option. So we either go for the True Shot Barrage Kill, or we just progress day, draw three, uh, play an 8-8, eight eight, or a 9-9. Nine nine. Like, we for sure play a 9-9. Nine nine. I kind of like that option. Yeah. And then, and then just try to find a, a Mystic Shot or a, a Get Excited to play during their turn. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad we went this option. We didn't just go True Shot Barrage because they would have just gained all that life. So I'm glad we went, got, went this option where we have the T-Hex to be able to tussle with the Trindomir. So I'm glad for that. Come on, get some more Anivias. No, don't get those sentries. Get more Anivias. The cards that they, that they grab, they could have had Puff Caps on them and the Puff Caps just get burned. Can I just let them keep this card? Take, we're taking five. If they, if they bounce T hex, we take, uh, we take fourteen, go down to two. They bounce T hex. No, they played they played uh, Winter's Breath with Karma that um, frostbit all of my stuff and then killed all the things that were frostbitten. I need another T Hex. This will be a good winter. That is a new T Hex animation. Winter, take you. Yeah, Listen. get a four two. No. Get rid of some champions. Okay. That's three puff caps. We're down to 13 puff caps with 11 cards. Um, I mean, I guess I just played True Shot Barrage. I have nothing really else to do. So I guess we just give it a try. You know, could get denied. Do I wait? I might as well wait. The re why I'm saying do I wait is because I, I haven't, like, we'll make a creature with Heimerdinger and we have no spots for any creatures. No, they drew another Winter's Breath. All right, well, we will rebuild. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we will rebuild without a Heimerdinger. Hey, Sultani, it's going good. It's going good, man. All right, they're down to five. Well, 
Come on, get five puff caps. Yeah, Trindamir, get out of here. Omen Hawk, get out of here. Especially the Trindamir. They drew two. So they had 13 puff caps, and then they only drew two. So they should have 11, but they only have seven. So that means those two cards they burned had four total puff caps on them. help their creatures not die. How can't, like, why can't I, why can't I Elixir of Iron their, their thing? No, they haven't played any Twin Disciplines. Yeah, so they have yeah they have two War Mothers uh, going on right now. Which is kind of why I'm I'm not I'm wanting them to keep a full board because we saw like that last turn they had a Trindamir get go away. Keep the Seeker Apprentice in hand. We don't need to play it. We'll bring peace to yeah, get rid of that Karma and that Shadow Assassin. Three? Oh, so close. All right, we finally drew a burn spell. So, when do I go for it? So they have five cards and four Puff Caps. Two more things. Dang, they didn't draw a puff cap. No, that's burst speed. Oh no! Did I just cost myself this game? <sighs> I mean, I didn't, but. Biggest problem is a Nivea, but I mean it's really not that big of a problem because they only have two cards left. All they have to do is have one. Um, that's a good draw. Get rid of these elixir of irons; they don't do anything. What's up, Storm? All they have to do is have one more, you know, one more uh, unit in here to take. I'm, what I'm worried about is them having Anivia's. That's what I'm worried about. There we go. That's a good card. Don't have any units left, so they, so they 
they will be able to draw their last card next turn. That's kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. All they needed was, was one more ally in there. Um, obviously, I can just try to kill them. But I kind of want a progress day instead. I think we do that. Because I wanted to have another blocker in play. A chill in the air. They will get their attack step. Two cards left in deck. They have zero. One card left in deck. them to lose from not drawing a card. It's a more fun way to win. So we fought through double War Mother's Call. We stayed alive through double War Mother's Call. Which that was like turn... That was like turn 8 that they played double War Mother's Call because of the Weirding Stones. So they, they had double War Mother's Call in like turn eight and we fought through their entire deck. And not only that, they also played two one-sided sweepers with the Winter's Breaths where they just killed all of our creatures and kept all of their creatures. Just one-sided, you know, just Plague Wind. One-sided sweeper. They did that twice and we fought through all of it. So there we go, GG's. Not sure about rummage if I want to keep rummage or not. We're gonna get rid of it for now. If we had, you know, like a, a chump lump that we knew about, we'd keep it. Oh, there's old chump lump. Rummage is a good spell at growing assembly bot. Yeah, we just play the sentry to start with. Still we'll still have one extra mana to protect assembly bot. Heimerdinger. What you doing? Maybe I should have apprenticed. Then I could add three mana. And then I would have been able to play Chump Pump on turn four and just cast both Mushroom Clouds, growing this thing and kept Elixir of Iron. Got a Static Shock, or what? We pass him. Take that trade. So I'm probably not playing Hybridinger next turn. Are 
I don't know, maybe I just will. Okay, uh... Hmm. Guess not. Also, I should even play the Eager Apprentice because if they if they do have like a lot of flash of brilliances, I'd probably want to avalanche this turn. So it's so just playing the Eager Apprentice was just a waste. mushrooms we could only save three mana for next turn oh it is one and oh thank you i thought i put up one and oh. i just put up oh no real quick i wouldn't mind if that counted as two since it was versus an enlightened karma is was the first, yeah, one enlightened karma to start with, but then two enlightened karmas after a little bit. I was hoping they're gonna have that three-three block one of these other smaller creatures. But wow, they're just willing to get rid of those, huh? Another Heimerdinger? In nothing but rotating mirrors and projected lights, oldest trick in the book. So I want to pass the turn while they didn't use their mana. And alone, Timer Dinger. We can do this. Flash and progress day or assembly bot first? Lux is going to be really difficult to deal with, isn't it? Luck's going to be really difficult to deal with. If 
five seven Heimerdinger. Seven, eight, nine. You have six mana. That's a lot of damage that's not going upstairs. I suppose that's the good news. These are three two toughs. That's pretty annoying with my avalanche. Three two toughs and annoying, no, annoying power toughness. Um, Taking a lot of damage, though. Yeah, this high, the standalone Heimer, Heimerdinger beatdown. That's what I was kind of thinking of, like Starlet Seer, you know, grow like a Heimerdinger. Oh, that could be pretty cool. But okay, it's gonna hurt. Like, how do I win this? How do we do ten points of damage? Is it? Giving them 10 more Mushroom Clouds this turn. And then and True Shot Barrage. Is it... And that puts them down to 7. How do we actually win this? If I do play Chump Womp, then they get to Final Spark it. Oh! 
I obviously should have played that thing first before I played the two mushroom clouds, but it doesn't really matter. We just have to just get, we really do just have to get lucky with burn spells. Them drawing zero puff caps there hurt. Like, that's, I just have to get lucky with them drawing puff caps right now. That's my only way to win this. We'll put them down to four. And then next turn we'll have progress day plus stuff. Come on, draw some puff caps. Dang. Wait, zero for zero on puff caps on both of those. Okay, well, we will rummage away. Um, no, I can't play that. Okay. Rummage away these two. Dang. Do not get lucky with burn spells. them drawing pup caps. I give them all those pup caps, they gotta draw them. They gots to draw them. Alright, Heimerdinger Lux again. You don't really see Heimerdinger Lux very often. Keep one. Yep, GG's. So we'll have... You know, we have the create two mushroom clouds, and this time we'll rummage them away. Uh, I, yeah, I think we're just one and one. I think, I think we've only played against the Karma deck and then the Heimerdinger deck. But we've been playing for... Yeah, we've been playing for 42 minutes, but I guess we're just one-on-one. -on -one. We've just been playing for a long time. When you play a game where one person loses because they don't have any cards left in their deck, you know, it's going to be a long game. It's Heimerdinger time. Could be Heimerdinger time for my opponent as well. Hopefully not. Nothing to worry about. If you have nothing Create to a detain. Seems to be the problem. That's not that big a deal. We got a backup Heimerdinger. They want to detain this one. Seek and silence. Avalanche does kind of kill a lot of their stuff, but I think I just discard it. I, I could discard this Eager Apprentice. We really don't need it. 
Yeah, we could discard Eager Apprentice. We don't need that card. This would be a good winter. So close. Need to be able to play both Elixir of Irons. But we're digging. Guess we save that. Blessed by snow and stars. No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, should we, okay, so we could draw Heimerdinger and then, and then spend four to Thermogenic Beam that thing. That's what I'm going to do. This would be a good winter. Do kind of want that Thermogenic Beam for their Heimerdinger or Lux, but oh well. Like, if they would have had a Heimerdinger or a Lux, this would have been a, a pretty good opportunity to play either one of them. They didn't. Professor, I've read all your manuscripts. Oh, whoops. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> my foot started lowering my desk. There we go. Okay, well, there is a Heimerdinger. They don't have Detain available. do have barrier available. Let's just cast this big thing. Let's do three, two, no, let's do two to that thing. Three, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Three, two, one. Pretty nice. Push them out. Yeah, the robots, the the robots are their own tribe. I guess their tech. They're they're their own tech tribe. Battle Fury. Groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> I think we're gonna have some ally that's gonna be pretty big. I'm playing a bunch of spells. It's like an assembly bot. Maybe it already starts off really big. Yeah, cast that card. Do it. Basically, don't want them to get another floor be gone with having that Heimerdinger. We have some creature that's pretty big. <laughs> 
This one, this one Starlet Seer gave this plus eight, plus eight. Uh... <laughs> Alright, so we can play a 12 11 Chump Lump. <laughs> um, or we can progress day, draw three, and then play an 8 8 after drawing three. I think we're supposed to do the progress day. But I, I definitely want to play the. I mean, we're going to be playing this Chump Lump, but for now, we're going to do the draw three. Now we get to we get to level up Heimerdinger, and so that even if they detain my Heimerdinger, we'll have a, you know the other one be a leveled up one. Four Demacia. Well, that's kind of rough. Um, it's really not that big a deal though, right? Oh no, because they get the fleeting edge thing with the with the Lux. So that kills Heimerdinger. Probably have to just like block across the board. So Lux is Lux is gonna be a a seven eight. I want to shoot the Lux and kill the Lux. I think that's more important than uh, killing anything else. <laughs> no, don't don't purify my Chump Lump. That is the biggest, the largest of Chump Lumps. Let's save Heimerdinger and then get another thing to play. No, I, I think I really do think we need to kill Lux. Like, we have a lot of stuff. It's just they kind of only have Lux. At least that's what it looks like. Oh, Lux is an 8-9 because she levels up. Oh, we don't get to kill... Why didn't I... Oh, I didn't even think of that. Well then. Fly away while you can. That was dumb of me. So I, sh I should have just saved the Heimerdinger. And then played another jump locker. Answers. I have them. My only way to save Heimerdinger is to and kill Lux. Oh, this doesn't save Heimerdinger and kill Lux. No, we still have to do one or the other. Well, we're definitely saving Heimerdinger. Wait, no, yeah, we had, we just have to Mystic Shot and Thermogenic Beam it? It's a lot. Well, I definitely didn't play these last two turns perfectly, especially the, the turn before. Um, I I forgot about the Lux getting the plus one, plus one with the level up. I did not take that into consideration when determining what, what play to do. So the two one blocks the eight two. The three two just blocks something else. The five five gets blocks something else. Five five blocks like a two, and then I don't. 
kill the 5-5 five five on the way back. That's fine. I could not attack with the A2 and save it for the 5-5, five five, but it's fine. I want to get the damage in. Alright, jump lump. Save the day. They're obviously going to, going to detain this 11, 12, 11 jump lump. Just sad. That it's still pretty sweet, though. Alright, we'll give him some puff caps to draw. So they detain the 1211, and then it comes back. No, they're detaining the four power. Like, do I want to win with Battle Fury? I guess so. It's not the coolest way to win. I don't know. It's it's a pretty cool way to win. Yeah, Sears building the jumps. The 12 11 jump wall. This is a slow deck. Our five games are going to take like two hours. <laughs> We're like one hour with three games. <laughs> we have played against three other slow decks, though. You know, Karma, Heimerdinger, Heimerdinger is what we've played against. Alright, we got something different. Well, we got Yasuo Zed. Alright, playing V, the Yasuo deck. I'll just keep all these. All, every rank resets at the end of the month. Um... Yeah, board toughness Yasuo. I mean, difficult to kill. See the Devastian border from here. Um, it's in it's in here, Tensor. I'll click on here and find the exact article for you. It's the the launch announcement in FAQ one at the very bottom that talks about the rank re the the rank resets. Just a two for two trade, but we draw a card, so we're up one card. Well, that's like all of our two drops, basically. Holy moly. We're getting all the two drops. Do we want to rummage away two of these? Maybe. Maybe 
Maybe I rummage away like these eager apprentices. What did he say? Did he say there's no death in life? That's just an obvious thing. Well, I mean, there there is some death in life, right? Because like that's like we're all dying very slowly. All right, decided I am going to play Eager Apprentice to, well, after drawing this Progress Day because I do I do value the spell mana to have more mana to be able to cast Progress Day. So yeah, so Master's Rank goes down to Plat 4 again. Mm, Should have cast it first. Could have could have kept growing, growing this assembly bot. Okay, let's see. So eight mana. Just go down to seven. I kind of need to... I kind of need to save this Mystic Shot so if we find another, we can kill this Yasuo. Obviously, killing Yasuo is the most important thing. Basically, we'll just kill both of these Starlet Seers. I can save them if I want with an Elixir of Iron. Um, I may need that to help save Heimerdinger, though. No, let's let's save one of these. This would be a good winter. Something that kills Yasuo. Albeit slowly. So 
So doing this to use one spell mana so that whenever we play the, the Flash of Brilliance, we gain a mana. So, you know, basically turning this Mystic Shot into a zero cost to spell. Also is gonna level up. Experimentation for optimal outcomes. This would be a good winter. We got a 10 10 9 jump lump. It's pretty big. An and now our assembly bots a 10 10. I mean the Heimerdinger dies, but. Hopefully they don't have twin disciplines to protect Yasuo. Okay. Now we in business. Business. No. Come on. There's nothing for me there. Come on, man. I got ways to form in mushrooms. Some blocking. How many cards they got? Twenty six. So do I want to? That's a regular progress day. Do I want to just give them mushroom clouds, or do I want to save three mana? So next turn, so we'll have thirteen mana next turn. Progress day costing eight. Give us another five. That could be necessary for like Mystic Shot and get excited to kill Yasuo. So you have to be worried about my cards in hand also. We'll have three, six, seven, eight. So if we play this, we're, we're down to, or like, you know, we'll have 10. Um, is that the best thing to play? I think so. How are we doing at cards, 18? All right, so I do have the Get Excited and Mystic Shot combo to kill Yasuo. But that kind of only works if... Like, well, definitely glad we can just attack and pass. That kind of only works uh, if they don't have protection. And they just pass immediately. If I don't play anything, I lose. Let's play this. Still have the mana to play both of them. I was gonna say we had to get a card out of hand. All right, I'll I'll just wait till we have more mana next turn.
All right, onus is on them. Definitely a bummer my assembly bot's gonna get bounced. Alright, so we need to start over. Let's double up these assembly bots to start over with. I probably should have saved that man. I probably shouldn't have played that thing. Save that mana. Gosh, that extra two mana would be really nice. I could play this and this and this. That only that only be three spells. We'd have to play the rummage also. We're rummaging those two. I was hoping I was gonna be able to play the other chump womp. No, not a not a slow spell speed. Needed a fast spell speed. So close. Ugh. Things have not gone well for me this game. Very next card, really. Happy to do whatever's needed. I guess there wasn't really a, a reason to play those things. Those puff cap cards. Reason is we're giving them a bunch of puff caps. If they have another Yone in hand, I'm. If I play Thermogenic Beam, they have another Yone in hand, I'm dead. I guess if they have another Yone in hand, I'm just dead anyway. Yeah, I'm just dead to Yone. No matter what I do. Really don't need to play Flash of Brilliance first because we can only get a six plus mana spell, and there's just not any six mana spells that we can uh, do anything with. So we might as well hold on to it because maybe we draw. Um, what does that do? Put me down to one. Cool. <clears throat> maybe we draw Heimerdinger. <laughs> Alright, come on, Heimerdinger. We got six cards left. We still got 12 damage to do. Alright, well, let's see what spell we get. Pack Mentality. Could do some damage, I suppose. Let's go! Pack mentality! No! Stunned. <laughs> That's a 
with a lot of puff caps. Um, the safe. So the safe play is try to kill Shadow Assassin, and then if they have a deny, then we play the other one and, and kill Shadow Assassin. That's the safe play. Obviously, we could just go for it and just try to throw all five up at them. But then if we do that, and we throw all five up at them, and if they have deny, you know, if they just drew deny then we just lose on the spot. I feel like with them having 15 puff caps and us having another get excited and Heimerdinger and stuff, I think we should go for the safe play of try to kill Shadow Assassin. I think that's better than, than just throwing all five up at them because I I think we are in a, in a good spot. So it looks like we would have won if... Okay. I would have gone for it, but we were still, you know, playing the 3-1 elusive. There, they had a bunch of... You know, they were at 2, they had a bunch of puff caps. All right. GG's, we are 3-1. That, that game, there's a lot of things that didn't go our way. And Yasuo did a lot, and... Uh, we just held on, you know, just held on. Oh, Karma Ez. Karma Ez. I don't think the... How these games have played, how, how our four games have played so far, I don't think that we are probably that good against Ezreal. I feel like um, Ezreal is going to combo kill us before we have a chance to win. We're really slow at actually winning games. So just how these games have played out, I'm not looking forward to this one, how the previous ones. But that's just on paper. Still play the game, see what happens. No, no, Legends of Runeterra is not a paper game. I was saying that my theory is, like, written out. Like, that's a that's a saying um, that, like, the, the theory is just on paper, but it's not, you know, like it, like, it looks good on paper, but we'll have to see if it actually happens kind of thing. But I guess for us, it's really, it looks bad on paper. Yeah, I, I definitely I had Catalyst of Aeons in this deck to start with whenever I was putting it together, but it was like you know just trimming the card, trimming the deck down to forty cards. Catalyst of Aeon, I I left it out. Um, hmm. That could could definitely be an option. Maybe that instead of the. Eager Apprentice, potentially. Um, you know, can help ramp you into Heimerdinger faster, or.
Well, the good news is now they don't have removal for Heimerdinger, and they gave us a Heimerdinger. So we'll take that. What seems to be the problem? Should I Avalanche? It'd make it a lot easier for them to kill my Heimerdinger. No, we don't Avalanche. This will be a good winter. X Tech Transmogulator. Alright, well, I don't have another Heimerdinger if they take this one out, but it still did pretty good. You know, it got us the 3-1 the and the 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, and we have refilled our hand. One mana Starlet Seer is pretty sweet. One, a one mana 3-4 Starlet Seer, that is. Okay, you tried the Undying Lucian deck and went 15-4. and four. Okay, nice. That's awesome, CDN dude. Yeah, I like... Um, yeah, I liked that deck. I thought it was I thought it was strong and, and yeah, I, I didn't have the best luck and didn't play it the best. But so I could I could play the thermogenic beam and get it out of my hand and then this card wouldn't be burned, but I, I felt the thermogenic beam was better than the random card. And so we didn't do that. Could Avalanche now. It does give me a good window to Avalanche. Let's do that. And then I, I still have the three mana for Get Excited available if they play Karma or Ezreal. <laughs> Need to be able to kill them. Okay, so they're not playing either of them. So let's play Assembly Bot. Yeah. Ezreal is 5 out of 8. I should just be playing the Heimerdinger and yeah maybe I should just be playing the Heimerdinger there for me and uh they only had the bounce spell before for it I probably should just be Heimerdinger Oh, 
Come on, pass. Pass. I want them to pass. They got 10 cards in hand. They have to burn one. Darn, they figured that out. So 12 mana. Decisions on the ways we could go. I think we attack with these. Oh, heck, I don't care. Really like those. We'll, let's attack with those two. Trying to do just enough, not 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 going all in on growing the assembly bot, but doing just enough. I know like those mushroom clouds are like good cards to discard to get excited and rummage, um, but we can we can discard like some other stuff. You know, we can discard like this tr transmogulator, the avalanche, um, other cards you draw with progress day. Is potentially six direct damage that I'm not doing to them. That's real still at five out of eight. Play versus Starlight deck today that got to cast a Trindamir with 15 power. That's pretty awesome. We're gonna have something that's gonna be pretty big from having two Starlight Seers out. Like, our next thing that we draw is gonna be pretty big. That is whenever we draw it. Karma still, still pretty good. We'll see what they got with it. Maybe I should have gone all in with the assembly bot. And just sent those burn spells upstairs. Yeah, we'll only dealt a little bit more damage.
So it's basically, are they going to have the burn spells to kill me with help of the karma? I think I'm just going to be playing 8 mana Thermogenic Beam right now on the karma. Obviously, we can progress day as well, but I would rather have Karma off the battlefield than draw three cards. Like, if I got to choose one of those two. Progress waits for no one. The Thermogenic Beam can be denied. While Progress Day cannot. So, like, Progress Day, we definitely get the 8-8. Yeah, so like, yeah. This will be an 8-8 if it resolves, which it should resolve now. Could have like a barrier or something. What if your assembly bot just starts as an 11-11? <laughs> Sad thing, though, is because of Yone, I don't think I actually play it. Unfortunately. Drawing some puff caps. You got four more in there. Can draw four more. Disconnected. No. Okay, so that made an unlicensed innovation. Um. Draw a champion. All right, the Heimerdinger didn't get any any buff. I don't have harsh winds available. Alright, well, they're back up to seven. Are they... They're not out of puff caps, are they? Yeah, they're definitely not out of puff caps.
Um. Really don't have a great plan. That was not a great plan. That four life they gained with that chump bump. That was rough. What seems to be the problem? Ezreal. Ezreal seems to be the problem, Mr. Heimerdinger. All right, so we ended up going three and two. Our deck could do some pretty cool things. I don't think it's like the best version of Heimerdinger or anything, but we got to do some really silly things with the deck. Um, you know, like the just the size of some of those creatures. Yeah, that, that we saw. You know, like we were, you know, getting a lot of like because of Starlet Seer, we're getting a lot of like plus eight, plus eights <laughs> on some of these creatures. Just pretty pretty crazy like you know like we had like that 11 11 assembly bot um just in our opener like the, the 12 power chump lump the eight power eager apprentice that kind of stuff our deck wasn't very good at closing out games and like and finishing games and everything um whenever you know like actually actually finishing out the games and and doing all the damage um that's you know you can probably tell that from an hour and 40 minutes to play five games took took us a while to to win um if we, you know, giving like assembly bot, giving assembly bot like evasion or something would have been really nice. Um, but I don't, I don't think I really want to play like the give one of your units evasion card. Um, could play another, you know, could play another champion alongside this, you know, like play like an Ezreal or whatever, also to help finish games out or, or like a Trindamir. Something like that, but um, yeah, something with overwhelm, like Trindamir with overwhelm. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty cool. You know, it was just you know just a de definitely a different deck. That was my first time really kind of going with like Assembly Bot, Starlet Seer. Um, if you like making some absolutely huge creatures and also having some crazy spell stuff with Heimerdinger, getting the randomness of Flash of Brilliance in there. Um, yeah, it's fun fun deck to play. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, let you know. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck, and if there's any anything that you would change about it. Anything, uh, anything that you think that I missed here with uh, with these, but um, you know, definitely a different one here. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching some Starlit Heimerdinger, and I'll see you for the next video.